Hey guys, what is up? Shark here, and welcome back for some more Evil Within. When last we left, we had just been going through the city, dying to various things throughout the world. You know, the typical Evil Within episode for me. Uh, so we died to the new water enemy, and we died to a dude with a... Sh not a shotgun, what it was, a, a, mi a machine gun. Yep. Yep, I I can die to them all. I tell you that. I tell you that much. Very versatile. All right, so we're gonna have a big fight here with these guys. Oh, he's got a shotgun. He's got a shotgun. I don't know. I I don't like enemies with guns in these kinds of games. I just don't feel like, like that is the logical progression in terms of like difficulty they would have to be that. I don't know. I just don't feel like zombies should have freaking shotguns. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to switch that for that. That dude has a freaking shotgun too. What is it? Why? Why so many shotguns, zombies? Take that. Okay. That did not work how I was planning. Ugh. Oh, my God. Oh, he's got freaking explosive bolts. Okay. I need to heal really quick. Hopefully. How are you not dead? What? You got hit with a freaking grenade, man. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Light that dynamite, you son of a bitch. I say light it all day. Light all that dynamite for all I care. You need to go away. Because I don't like you. Is he throwing the dynamite? Yeah. I just completely missed that. That's depressing. Can I shoot up through this? Probably not. Nope. Now, how long do I have to wait until that explodes on him? Yep, doing it now. All right. I think there's one more wave of them. You're kidding me. What are they doing, exactly? No, I don't think so, buddy. Not with that machine gun, you don't. What? You son of a bitch. Open the damn door. Trying to cheat me out of my kill. Let me see how it is. I knew there was one with a machine gun. I thought there was only one, though. And then two pop up. The second one gets me. Cheap. Cheap little bastards. Alright, some green gel for me. I just used a lot of green gel right back there. At the last save location. There's really nothing that I want green gel wise though anymore. Except for the upgraded agony crossbow bolt. Or the harpoon bolt. That's really the only thing that I really want. That I don't have. I guess I could save up a little bit and upgrade my health a little bit more. I don't see anyone. I know there's definitely going to be people here. I'm not positive when they spawn, though. I need to switch back to my sniper, though. Because we are about to be... There's a lot of combat in this little section. Ooh, more grenades. I wasted... I so totally wasted that one. Alright guys, where are you at? 
Maybe they don't spawn until I activate this thing up here. More green gel. Thank you, game. 300 more green gel. Thank you, game. I'm just going to have to start thanking this game every time it gives me something nice. Because it doesn't seem like it happens often enough. I feel underappreciated. My heart is broken. So basically we're cranking, I think this is a generator right here, yeah. Oh, not these guys. Not AR guys. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like, I would not like them with an AR. I do not like them in a car. I do not like you pushing me. Stay back there. Please. Did I just get shot by that guy or did that other guy hit me? Oh, ouch. Ouch. Oh, he's right on me. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope he's dead. If not, this could be bad. Uh, med kit me. It's gonna be awkward for a second. Okay, he shot. Okay! It That's actually not that bad. Because he hit me and took me out of that state. I didn't know he could do that. I didn't know if they hit me that I would go out of the. Like, dazed or whatever you wanna call it state where I'm in after I take a med kit. Alright, that's broken. And now we have another syringe. So, I mean, that didn't go very well exactly, but it wasn't horrible. And there is going to be some items up here for us. Because we're going to have another fighting section here in a second. Like I said, the whole the whole city area is very combat heavy. Like, I don't, I don't feel like it's a horror game anymore. There's one section that I think you could definitely classify as one of the scariest sections, I guess. Because you can't actually shoot in the location. But other than that, it's just basically one giant firing range. Okay, yeah. If you shoot them in this location, then they will fall off. If they're close enough to the edge, they'll kind of like auto fall off. It's sort of like the lifts in Resident Evil 4, if you know what I'm talking about. He should fall off, I think, if I can hit him. Yeah. He'll fall off. Hopefully you do, because you have a freaking gun. You son of a bitch. Okay. Thank God we got more ammo, because I've got I've been shooting so much. Oh, uh, you got a gun. Thank God they fall off here, because it's helping the fuck out of me right now. No, not a bottle. You, not you. You got freaking fire. No. You're going to have to die. I can't have you hitting me with fire. Out of ammo. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I guess I'll just have to snipe it. Quick scope that bastard. All right, I'm out of ammo with my pistol. I still got five shotgun shots. I can't really use them, though. And I still have several trap parts, I think. Yeah, I got quite a few trap parts. I've, I've disabled a lot of traps, I feel like. Obviously not the most as you can, but I got a fair, a fair amount. So we can crawl down under here, and there's a little secret area over here. Or not secret, just hidden, sort of. With some green gel. And I think that's it. For some reason, I was thinking there was a uh, map fragment back here, but maybe there's not. Maybe I am wrong on that. So that's good. I'm glad we got out of that area. I was kind of... 
like not hesitant about it I don't know I just don't like that area very much it's kind of it's difficult sort of uh, I feel like I missed something or maybe I'm thinking oh that okay that was magnum ammo magnum ammo is really really scarce in this game you're not gonna find very much of it so definitely try to get that there's two bullets up there I think I just grabbed you're definitely gonna want that You can beat the game without a Magnum, obviously, but it's a lot easier if you have one. Ew! Okay. Oh my god, that was like the smallest thing ever. That was like a Kumu mode level, a Kumu mode level timing I needed for that. That sucked. But uh, there was a key there if you didn't notice me pick it up. In that vending machine. And another little save area right here. With another journal. Oh my god, more backstory. <laughs> journal of Sebastian Castellanos, July 11th, 2012. Almost six months since the accident, Myra and I drift further apart with every passing week. I have to stay strong, but it's so easy to drown my thoughts in whiskey. I figure as long as it doesn't affect my work, what, what I do on my own time is private. I finally got Myra to open up with me about the accident. Now I'm more worried than ever. I don't I don't know what's worse. The fact that Myra is becoming paranoid and maybe losing her mind, or the fact that what she is proposing, that the fire wasn't an accident, could be real. I owe it to her to trust her instincts. But if they're correct, God help whoever did this. So Myra is uh thinking <laughs> this is an awkward, awkward kind of little mirror here too. It's a poster. But Myra is thinking the that there was foul play back here again. in the fire. I must be losing it. Interesting thoughts, Myra. I don't know why <laughs> we've been to this place so many times. He should just be used to this place by now, Whatever I would think. Is the matter. Oh, nothing. No newspapers. All right. Well, what a fun trip this was. <laughs> no collectibles for me. I need some freaking ammo. My god, I got zero bullets for my pistol. I was trying to kick that door, but it kept making me hold. There's a really awesome Easter egg here. But I'm not positive. I think it's in the DLC. It's not in this. It's like a poster on a wall or something, and you can peel it off or something, and the shade is dancing behind it. Obviously... The shade. If you haven't played the DLC, I definitely recommend the DLC. It's scarier, in my opinion, than this is. It's more of a horror game. It's more of a horror game than I would classify this, and I don't know. I like it. If you like this game, if you want more of this game, it's not really that. Ah, fuck. If you're looking for more of this game, more like action kind of stuff, it's not really that. It's more of a horror game. The DLC is. At least the first two DLCs. The Executioner is like a first person... Kidman? Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to... It's... You play as the Keeper and you like hit stuff with your hammer. I don't know. Like I enjoyed it, but it's a far departure from what this game is. I feel like it's right there is where the Easter egg is in the DLC. Or it's it's somewhere around here. I better get over there. It's been quite a while since we've seen Kidman, hasn't it? I actually don't even remember the last time we actually saw her. Or actually talked to her. I did not mean to fall off that car. Open the fucking gate! Open the fucking gate! <laughs> I don't know if the monster, like, knocked the car and I fell in the water. Or if I'm just stupid. You're kidding me. No way. 
Let me on the car. 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 Let me on the fucking car. Let me on the fucking car. Come on. Oh, sweet Jesus. Open faster door. Let me in the gate. 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 Oh, I think I got away. I think I got away. I don't know how. I just swam around the car the whole time. Well, I will take it. I don't know how I just survived that, but I'll take it. But he followed me. And he's just swimming along mysteriously under the water. Hiding from human eyes. Kidman, hold on. Help! There's too many of them! I don't remember the last time, like I said, I don't remember the last time we saw Kidman. I feel like it was a really long time ago. Like, I know the last time we actually saw her, I don't... Have we even spoken to her since the very beginning at this point? Because I know we saw her going into the church with Leslie quite a while ago. But that's the last I remember seeing her. Can I shoot this guy down and... Okay, swim, swim. I think the monster will eat that dude with the sniper. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's that Michael Phelps swimming right there. You already know what it is. That's the master swimming. Swim god. Alright. Now to save Kidman, I guess. Not that she's ever done anything for me. Freaking rookie. Freaking rookie. Well, there was a trap there. Maybe not. Ugh. No, I hit the wrong one. Oh my god, I'm so, like... There's a trap right there. Yeah, I knew that. I knew there was a trap there. I knew there was a trap somewhere. I just didn't... I thought it was a tripwire somewhere. Ugh. Okay. Is there... Yeah, okay. There's more... Yeah, there's so many of them. Oh, my God. Another trap. Aha! 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 Take that! You vile, vile villains. Could you not swing at me so much? I do not appreciate it. There you go, take that. Oh, what the fuck, come on. That wasn't my fault. That was dumb. Yes, I am still here. Aha, ha ha. Gotcha. Got you with the quick sights on that one. What's up, Kidman? Long time no see. If you hadn't come along. Save it for later. There are probably more of them around. Oh, goody goody gumdrops. I <laughs> come. She's certainly more helpful than Joseph, though. My god, she already headshotted two of them. Three of them! Yes. Kidman, you are my new partner. Joseph can suck it. Alright, is that all they dropped was a little bit of green gel? That's all I got out of that encounter? Man. I killed so many of them and I got green gel out of it. I was hoping for more bullets. Well, that's pleasant. Somebody over there has got a... Whatever. AR. Okay, can I throw this in there? My trajectory's all... weird. Come on. Yep, you're dead. He is dead, isn't he? I can't even tell. 
I don't want to go out there and he's not dead. He's not dead! What the fuck? You just got hit with a grenade, man! You're a standard enemy! Ugh, oh, you need to learn how to die better. Your stupid metal mask. Stupid metal mask. Hate it. So ugly. So tacky. What a tacky mask you have. And there's a little key in here. I'm gonna have to use these keys, because I need ammo. I don't know. Like, I, maybe I'll find some here shortly. Like, they've just exhausted all of my ammo with what I just was just going through, but... Maybe I'll find some here in a second. I don't really know. I know vaguely what's coming up. And Somewhere I will right. need ammo. There's a lot this of fighting from church, here on out. I, you were at the church? Yeah, Joseph and I. He's in bad shape, or at least he was when I last saw him. What about the boy from the hospital? Leslie? I found him in a cage. He freaked and ran, though. That's a good conversation. <laughs> I found him in a cage. Just in a cage. Just hanging out. Like, if I met, like... If I was in Sebastian's position, I would be talk or telling every fucking story that I've had in this place. Just to kind of get it off my chest of what I've been fucking dealing with. I think Sebastian just like strange things. Have you been having any nosebleeds, headaches? No. Why? Joseph was. It's like he was turning into one of those things. Maybe it doesn't affect everybody. <gasps> All right, so there they were talking about Joseph and his issues, or whatever you want to call it. And we are, I think this might be the end of the chapter, actually. Maybe. What is this? Did you shoot me? You started turning into a monster. You attacked me. I'm sorry, but you're tainted now. You might try to stop me through you. Wait, what are you talking about? All right. Thank you for shooting me. <laughs> no, I'm trapped. I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. Get it open. Help me, Ruvik. Leslie? Leslie, is that you? <laughs> Leslie. That's good. <laughs> Just a little more. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Ruvik? <laughs> help, 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 help. Help! Help! Hey! Leslie? You the man, Leslie. Let me out of my cage like that. You're awesome. Love ya. Love ya, buddy. Alright, so this is the spooky area I was talking about. The one you could classify as spooky. 
in the city. The only real one that I would personally classify as spooky. And if you read the sign right here, danger, no flammable liquids or combustible materials allowed in this area. Basically, that means no gunshots. But that doesn't mean we can't collect some stuff. You can hide right there. Plus, it's a mannequin factory. Fucking, like I said, mannequins are creepy. Creepy little mannequin. Look, you don't have my gun. I'd blow your freaking head off. I'd go mannequin hunting. There are so many. I remember this. This was in one of the trailers. How in the hell? Why is that thing... <laughs> I'm so confused. That thing should have killed me. Like, I didn't even notice it when I went when I walked out, like, right in front of it. <laughs> it just stood there and was like, The balls on this guy, my god. I respect that. <laughs> I was... I had no idea he was there. Like, I heard him, obviously, but... I didn't know he was standing right there. That's funny. Alright, so what we have to do is grab a key card. Uh, let's see if I can avoid this dude. And then stab him in the head! Oh, yeah. Get you head stabbing. Alright, so I think... There is a collectible around here. I know there is. I just don't remember where it is. It's like over there somewhere. I don't know. It's not like I've grabbed all of them, so... But there is one around here. Just be aware of that. I'm gonna try to find it, though. I'm almost positive it's around here. Maybe not. I don't know. I should probably not just check it out, because I'll just die for it. Because there's really nothing I can do here. I can't shoot him. I don't think you get, like, in the second game you get brass knuckles. After you've beaten the game, and it helps you with the one section of that game where you can't shoot. But I don't remember if you get anything like that in this game. I'm feeling like you don't, but you may. Maybe you do get brass knuckles even. I, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've... Uh, like I said, it's been a while since I've played this game. Uh, Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, August 2012. As I don't have enough to deal... As if I don't have enough to deal with, personally and professionally, Joseph and I have been assigned a rookie to train. Great. Babysitting duty. Kidman is young and green, but has the sense of entitlement that all the rookies have these days. I always catch her giving me sideways glances whenever I have to bend the rule book a bit. She doesn't understand that sometimes it's part of the job if you want to break a case. Person Personality-wise, she's a cold fish. Distant, it's her job to be observant and assist, but sometimes it feels like she's actually a scientist looking at samples in a petri dish. She's more sh more like she's merely watching us instead of trying to learn from us. There's something that there's something about her that gets under my skin, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Joseph, as usual, tells me I'm just being oversensitive. I think he's got a crush on her, maybe. <laughs> maybe. All I know is that I'll I've got to keep Think, keep things close to the vest around her. So basically, Sebastian doesn't trust Kidman. Not trust your <laughs> trust your instincts, buddy. That's all I got to say. Trust your instincts. <laughs> uh, investigator missing. Serial killer. Investigator missing. Identity of and fate of investigator unknown. Case goes cold in countryside. Serial killer investigation. Police deny. Lead investigator missing. All right, that's cool. And no missing poster this time. Why is she always just walking around? It's so weird. 
Like, I always look for her over by the desk, but so often she's just walking around randomly, aimlessly. All right, so this chapter is almost over. We have to go upstairs, and there is a collectible. Oh, yeah, my sniper's not out. I think it's right... It's somewhere on a crane. It's on this crane somewhere. I thought. Or no, it's on this crane. I'll get it because it's it's a really hard one to, uh, to find, obviously. If not, I probably wouldn't waste a bullet on it because my bullets, my bullets still aren't looking that great, but... I will grab it anyways. Uh, I trapped myself. Or did I? What the fuck just happened? Did he have dynamite, I guess? That sucks. Damn it! Like, I knew he was there. I didn't know he had dynamite. Oh my god. Trials and tribulations. So, we're going to go ahead and go over here. This is actually at the end of the chapter right up here. Uh, let me make sure everything's reloaded. We have another very action-packed chapter next time. Probably, I don't know, maybe more action-packed than this. It's a toss-up. <laughs> the, entire, the entire end of the game is pretty much action-packed. Uh, where is that key? There's Joseph right there. No! I missed that key. I think it was on the landing before you go up the stairs. It's somewhere around that location. I apologize for not finding it, but... I don't know. It's. I think it's on the landing right before you go up the stairs. But anyways, that is the end of the chapter. Uh, when we come back, I think there's 15 chapters in this game. 15, maybe. Uh, that was chapter 11, so we have, what, four chapters left? But anyways, I'm going to end the episode right here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.